There we go. I am terrible. I apologize. There too. Alright. <laughs> Take two. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, as I said, was saying, I'm in the tree area. I'm an elf. Easy peasy. Ain't no reason to get tilted. No, no problems here. I don't know why everyone says this game is so hard. Clearly it's not. I mean, uh, I was just showing you what not to do. Don't do that. I woke up from time to time. Soon I will get a glance. Glance at what? I'm jumping, you bastard. You trying to glance at me? Trying to get some peaky peekies? Not cool, man. Not cool. So, as I was saying, this is the proper way of getting through this area. Because, uh, you know, oh, easy. Been uh, doing this my whole life. So, uh, gonna get, hey, look, a bird. Gonna get this first try. Just jumping the bird. Right? Oh, and even better, trees. What else? More trees. What am I telling you? All easy. All first try. And, um, like I said, um, I actually did get to this part. Um, I have played an hour or two. Just getting the hang of it. Um, and, uh, deciding if I wanted to stream it or not. So, uh, that wasn't a curse. Didn't pull... This is um, the Hyper Potions, if uh, you care to check them out on YouTube. I uh, quite like them, they're really chill for background music. Keeps uh, keeps me nice and uh, calm so that I uh, won't be uh, cursing. Because naturally, like, I'm not obscene. Not a curse? Not obscene, we're not going to get uh, 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 triple digit cursing. The deterioration is... Holy shit! Fuck you, old man. An 18 plus stream. But, uh, just, just, just showing you guys what, what not to do. I, I actually haven't failed the jump yet. I'm just, uh, I'm actually, it's kind of an educational stream, really. And, easy. And this jump right here, every... Don't do that. When you're doing that jump right there, definitely do not do that. The real way you want to do it is uh, you just eat right in there. Like that. First try, see? Then you just hop up. Parkour. Nothing uh, nothing difficult about it. I don't know why everyone says this game's so hard. Yeah, so you just don't do that. And then, uh, you Right there. Right there. Oh, this is the bird again. Just, uh, jump on his head. And uh, there you go. Easy. Already uh, climbing the tree. Get up uh, a little bit more. All right, Colossal Drain. What is that? Five minutes and two of those minutes I didn't... Uh, eight minutes. And two of those minutes I uh, didn't even realize I wasn't streaming. So, uh, not too bad. Uh, completely uh, no error stream. Definitely not scuffed. We don't do scuff around here. We're professionals. I've been streaming for a whole three days, so... You know we only do professionalism around here. Only the finest for uh, Thatchy's uh, viewers. Didn't swear. Didn't curse. Because, uh, I mean, it, to be fair. Elf, you know. The trees, easy. Uh, the colossal drains. Us elves don't have a lot of reason to be getting in these drains. Not a lot. Yeah. I don't know the reason to be in the drains. We're not filthy dwarves with rocks and none of that stuff around here. But, I mean, how hard could it be if a dwarf could do it, an elf could do it? You know what I'm saying? Easy. Then a little uh, light tap and uh, yeet. And uh, yeet. Fuck this place, the dwarves can have it. Okay. That was good. Alright. We're fine. This is fine. Everything 
just fine. And I'm uh, ten minutes. Uh, oh, three curses at ten minutes. That's not easy. It's the tree part. I can get through this. First try. Second try. I actually meant to do that. I just really like this frame. Figured I'd uh, come back, check it out, make sure things are still in order. And then, uh, you know, back up on the, the this frame. St still looks nice. But uh, I don't need to be there anymore. Right. Get uh, right on up this tree. We'll stop uh, messing around. You guys are probably tired of that uh, panel already. Alright, let's get uh, back into these filthy dwarven drain. Goddamn dwarves. Always making shit that... Always making stuff that, uh... Keeping us wood elves out, you know what I'm saying? They're uh, real, uh, real protective of their territory. I don't know why, it's kind of a slum. But, uh, here we are. Just, uh... Gonna passing through idle travelers you know see what we can find exploring what yep. I was good things just I was debating playing this game honestly because like <clears throat> it's a little too easy like I, I see some streamers play it and I'm like you guys got to be handing it up to the camera it's it's not that hard like look at that uh, look at that easy Easy mode. We're already back to the uh, dwarven shithole. Fuck! Alright. Give you that. You got me on that one. Come on. But uh, besides that, easy. Alright, and we're back to the filthy dwarven area. And easy peasy. Just a tiny little. Not that tiny. Not that tiny either. Yeah, right there. Right there. Uh, you know, I might. I, I just might, actually. Um, but not on stream, because that is a bit of a POS issue. Unless you're MRF. My understanding. But, uh, appreciate the, uh, I interaction. Not quite what I was expecting, but fuck! Alright. God damn! It's fun. Um, uh, I, I actually like the tree area, you know? I cruise right through it. Us elves love the tree area. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what brings you to the, the Jump King streams for this, um, lonely elven VTuber? Ready yet? What are you doing up so late? What am I doing up so late? I think mistakes may have been made, but here we are. Love to hold in my pee as the release will be. You know, you're not wrong. You're genuinely not wrong. I don't know if I uh, can't sleep. Yeah, well, I, ju I just finished writing. Um, uh, long paper for um, Elven Academy, so so I, I need to unwind a little bit. And I was like, you know what's relaxing? Jumping. I've, I've seen streamers play it. How hard could it be? You know. So you get to these fucking dwarven sewers, like they're just filled with shit. No one likes them. My good writer, uh, I can write papers. Uh, I'm not, not a bad writer. I'm not a good story uh, writer, though. Um, wish I was a good writer. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I feel like I'm not uh, creative enough to uh, go down that avenue. I've tried. Definitely tried. But I, I, I figured I'd try streaming because uh, I write codes in program languages, so I guess we're the same. Yeah, I've seen program I, programming. I've actually been interested in it before, uh, but my problem is, is I kind of got interested too late. Um, I like the hardware side of computers, like I built this one, and then um, I actually hated the software side, 
And uh, now I feel like it's a little too late, but like I've actually started kind of uh, finding it really interesting, even though I'm absolute shite at it. Yeah, uh, I can learn programming anytime, I suppose. I think that's true with uh, most things. Um, it's also, so what benefit? Like, what what are you gonna use it for? And at this point, I don't think it, the the time investment would be worth it. Um, I'm actually considering uh, learning um, language, to be honest, because uh, I am thinking about uh, maybe in the next five years moving to Japan for a year or two, just because. I've been there, really like the culture. You need to sacrifice must be made, and you need an affinity for pro- Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, programming, I'm sure, is just like any language. Like, you just have to care about it, and you, you have to have some level of innate ability, too. Oh, that's really cool. I'm jealous. I genuinely am so jealous of uh, anyone who can do language translation or is just good at languages. Bilingual, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. What languages do you speak? I tried to speak um, French back in um, high school, and uh, I gave up on around college. Japanese, English, Chinese, and Vietnamese. Okay. Well, Japanese and Chinese are... Fairly similar, I believe. I think Chinese, I know, or Mandarin, I believe it is, is a lot harder. I don't really know much about Vietnamese. Um, I tried to learn French, I just didn't care, to be honest. Um, I definitely would like to learn Japanese. Last time I went, I learned a little bit just to be conversational when I got there, because I didn't want to be the typical gaijin being rude. Um... So I did that, and I got kind of okay, but it's been a couple of years since then. Also, I appreciate the conversation. Uh, got me to stop being uh, a little uh, tilty boy. As I say that. Ah, oh, damn it. I jinxed myself. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, I was getting okay with it, and then I stopped using it, and when you stop using it, yeah, I didn't have a practice partner, um, and then I didn't have a use for it, really, because I wasn't good enough to do anything, um, like, play any non-translated games, read any non-translated books, or anything of that nature, so I, I, I just, I, I kind of lost it, and I do want to get back into it at some point. Yeah, well, that was my, um, trying novels was my original goal, and, uh, then, uh, as life does, it kind of gets in the way, uh, unfortunately, which is just an excuse, but that's what got you into Japanese. Yeah, what kind of novels do you like? Are you talking, like, light novels or manga, or are you talking, like, actual non weeb books? Um, because I, I like all of the above. I'm a huge reading nerd. God, these filthy dwarven sewer tunnels. Heck, you know, I see you are a man of culture. Oh, oh. See, you are a man of culture. I got. I don't have a lot of experience with that, you know. But I think that's more of a. Uh, not, I don't know, I guess I've never thought to read that type of, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, we're all people, of men of culture here, uh, assuming, sorry, uh, but we're all people of culture here, so like, we, we like the Bruce, but I don't think I've ever read, usually it's more of a looksy, little gander, you know, fuck, that's such an easy jump.
I wasn't expecting to be deteriorating this early. Oh, come on, it's not hard. At least, I won't reset that hard. Also, uh, definitely appreciate it if you, uh, life is kind of boring, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is. Some days are great, some days are bad, some days you're living until you wait for the next thing to come up. Is that why you're on Twitch? Just kind of hanging out? Bored? I just thought it'd be a fun hobby, um... Try it out. I've never done it before. Um, this, I'm actually brand new to streaming. This is my third day of it ever. Um, and uh, I thought like VTubers it makes it kind of interesting. I learned four languages and explained fun, expected fun conversations all the same. Yeah, I mean that'll do it. I gotta say, knowing all those languages must make. Um, your variety on Twitch a bit better because then you have more options. Great to experience music, which is fun. Oh yeah, big music fan. I'm not entirely sure what's okay to play and what's not to play on here. Um, I did find out that this particular YouTube artist is um, lets you play pretty much all, almost all their music as long as you um, credit them. And I actually bought it on iTunes too, just to, to give them some extra support. It's uh, Hyper Potions. Now, uh, YouTube, they make uh, music for like some of the Sonic games and some other games, I believe. But, uh, I play Monster Cat. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check it out, and I feel like there's a chance of me getting trolled here. But I will, <laughs> I will check it out after the stream. Mainly because, again, I'm kind of new to this, so, uh,. Not a lot of experience with uh, playing things, so I don't want to mess around on stream and... Fuck! <laughs> See, we're starting this early. Oh, free and legal. Interesting. Good to know. Thank you. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate uh, any uh, recommendations on... Um, just because, again, being so new, I'm um, kind of really, it's all scuffed. Let's be honest. This is scuffed. Everything's scuffed. I'm just trying my best to hide how scuffed it is. So. I just kind of try to watch what other people are doing. Try to, steal, not steal ideas, uh, innovate on their ideas. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think... I completely lost track as I uh, as I do when I ramble. Um, you mentioned that um, you have four languages and you play on um, Twitch a lot. Uh, that must be really interesting because then you can watch a lot of different um, streamers, not as limited. What kind of websites? Dare I, dare I ask? <laughs> I'm just saying. The last time I uh, asked about it, I got Eki novels. Echi? Eki? Because I get buried so hard during the day when everyone else is playing. Alright, we're doing it. We're making moves. Through these filthy dwarven sewers. Come on. This part's easy, just make the jump. Test. To try I've heard that um, I again I don't know how but I did hear that's like the way for small streamers to really get going yeah it, it didn't feel great <laughs> but I did hear TikTok was the way to go I'm just me boomer over here not knowing like I, I I've used it before a little bit but I've never actually posted anything so like that might be my next move. I appreciate the feedback though. I will say it's given me a newfound appreciation for small streamers. Now during the day I basically just sort through whatever game I'm interested in. 
and try to find one of those streamers that only have one or two viewers and uh, help them out. Even if I'm not fully watching the stream, I just pop it on and uh, and pop it on mute sometimes if I'm doing something, trying to give them some support. There are really good content on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some hilarious stuff on there. It's just I I haven't used it yet, um, really. So. And definitely not to my advantage, so I do have to do that at some point. I'm thinking. I was really just kind of revamping my entire channel page and trying to make sure everything works. So. Oh, that was an easy jump. Stupid. You know, one of my favorite things actually um, for TikTok is um, I really like watching people's cosplays. I think cosplaying is such an interesting concept because it's such a creative outlet for people. I'm not creative enough to make anything like that, but um, I just find it such an interesting concept. So like TikTok's just great for that. The problem is, is you gotta fil filter through all the horny stuff to find like the actual creative stuff. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but, uh, speaking of, uh, since you're at ESD, um, I don't know where you, um, this might be an assumption, but, um, or a generalized guess, but uh, Anime Boston's coming up in a couple weeks. Fuck! Anime Boston's coming up in a couple weeks. Um, any interest in going that? I've never been to a con. No, you were talking about uh, Echi before Eki, Echi, whatever the fuck's pronounced. So, was well, just curious. I think this might be the uh, first one I go to. My uh, buddy lives uh, not too far, so we can take the train in. Fucking dwarven sewers, we got this. Easy this time. Too many normies, I can see that. I've heard some... I've heard some horror stories, it's just I've never been. So I figure I'll try it. Could be fun. Kinda uninteresting to talk to. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, again, since I haven't been, I'm gonna try it out, have some fun. Worst case scenario, it turns out to be crap. There are bars everywhere. Boston, so. <laughs> like, buddy, what's your deck of time? Facts. <laughs> oh, alright. If there was anyone but you in here, I think I would get playing for this. I lost interest in Attack on Titan three episodes in. I thought it was crap. Um, Demon Slayer, I didn't. I, I'm just so not interested. Nezuko looks like such a boring character. Nezuha? Whatever the fuck her name is? Oh. Funny. All right, genius idea. I clip that, I post it to Twitter, and I turn into fucking Quantum TV and get absolutely shit posted. Fuck! Hit it too much to the normies and they ruin it. Yeah, I mean, some normie stuff is fine. But, like, it's not bad, it's just... I don't care about most of it. Um, I don't know. See, I, I'm the first one to be like, fuck Attack on Titan, I don't care about um, Demon Slayer, but I will admit I like ReZero quite a bit, and I think that's a kind of a normie one. Jujutsu Kaisen, no, I, that's actually very high on my list of shows to watch. 
very high on my list um i just i honestly haven't had time because i've been kind of developing this a little bit for the last month or two and then my work i've been working um seven day weeks uh at about 80 hours so um and that that was pretty much for the last three months so i i really haven't watched anything uh, i watched 86 I described the plot of 86 to one of my friends who didn't watch it, and he was like, that just sounds like Attack on Titan, but, like, not as good. I'm like, but it, it was pretty solid. Watched Guy right, Guy Rezero? Guy? Guy Rezero? Oh, gay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gotcha. Yes, yes, I did. But to be fair, that's one of the first shows I think I've watched. I'm the first one to admit it. I'm trash, but... I think Gigurk's my spirit animal, to be honest, because, uh... I, 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 uh... I, I, I'm pretty trash. My takes. A good anime combat I saw. 86? Yeah, I, uh... I really like it. My main problem with 86... Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about that, not Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, 86 is that, like... The first 12 episodes should have been more like 24. I didn't get to connect with any of the characters before, like, if you didn't get a chance to see them again. Uh, spoiler if you didn't see 86. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, I've heard good things and I want to check it out. So, definitely up there. Just finding time. Back to these shitty dwarven sewers. Which counts as uh, kind of a curse word, right? Swear word? I'm gonna add that to the counter. I think that's uh, I think that's fair. Fair game. I'll have to bond with the characters and not some fan service bullshit. Yeah, uh, that does not count towards the counter, by the way. I was reading a comment. Um, no, I totally agree. So anime count is a no-no. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I I don't care about it fan service if it's done tastefully, but like, what is it? Fire Force. I really want to like Fire Force a lot because it has some really good moments. But like, then Tamaki comes out of nowhere. Tamaki comes out of nowhere and like, oh shit, fucking entire outfit just fell off. And you're like, but why? This was a serious moment. This was a good fight scene. Why are you doing this? Why are you like this? Alright, we're back in this fucking stupid drain. Did you redo a mat? That, actually, yes, I did just watch that. Um, literally... Re you do have the heal. Actually, no. Oh, I'm mixing that up. No, I did not watch that one. What did I watch? How am I forgetting the name? What is it called? Um, Mashoka Tensei. I watched that. I actually did enjoy that. Uh, Redo of a Healer. I've heard some stuff about Redo of a Healer. Let's see. Yeah, no, I did not watch that. I was mixing that up with Mashoku Tensei, which I mean that that has Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's really degraded, yeah. That's what I've heard and I didn't even bother looking at it. Yeah, it... I, I don't know anything specifically, I've just heard that it ain't great. Fuck! No, uh, Mashoka Tensei was what I watched, and um, I, I had no plans to watch it. And then I saw Gigguk's video, and I was like, alright, I, I, I can be convinced, I'm trash. And um, I actually... 
didn't hate it. It had moments where I was like, ugh, but... Fuck. What's the best anime I like? Hmm. Oh man, this is a loaded question. Oh, I have to think about this. It's like there's recency bias. Every time I watch something, not every time, but a lot of the time when I watch something new, I genuinely, generally really like it. Um, this one has a lot of issues, I think, but it's one of the very first animes I watched. So I think I'm looking at this with rose tinted glasses here. Um, but I really, I don't know if I'd say it's the best, but it's definitely up there. Um, Angel Beats. I genuinely really like that one. And th that was one of the first anime I watched. And it was one of the first ones where I like actually felt that a reaction to anything. Like just leading, uh, the beginning episodes, I mean like, yeah, slapstick for funny, haha. -ha. And then like... By the end, it gets serious, and like that—that's the part I really like. The be the, the whole like middle three to seven were or three to six were like not bad. What about you? I think a lot of my favorite anime might be some of the first ones I've seen. The, well, look up the name because I'm gonna butcher it. The Japanese. Sakurasa no pet na Kanojo or the pet girl of Sakurasa. I quite enjoyed that one too. Oh, what did I say? My favorite. Um. Yeah. So th my preamble to this one was that it. Um, my preamble was that it's one of the first ones I've seen, so it's been a long time, probably recency bias. I mean, not, not re um, rose tinted glasses, but uh, Angel Beats, I really like that one. I, I just, uh, particularly the ending of it, it was just really, um... sorry, I was getting really juicy stuff on Ekimang. I mean, hey, get that sauce, man. Get it. No judgment here. But, uh, yeah, a Angel Beats just definitely one of those old ones that, like, it was one of my first, so, like, I just, I don't know, th th that last episode, I, I was tearing up like a little bitch. Yeah, I'm sure I'm remembering it as better than it was. Um, uh, again, episode, like, three to seven, like, eh, there's some slapstick, who cares? But, like, by the end, I thought the ending was just really good. Yeah, it, it moved really fast. I, I, I agree with that. What about you? What uh, What's your favorite anime? My turn to ask the loaded question. Alright. It's, um, uh, is that the little dragon maid? Um. It's, um, uh, I haven't watched that one. That looks like an Eki. That is not what I was. Oh boy. Japanese manga series by Hiro Fujiwara. He realized in 2005. That looks like an Eki. But I mean, I can't fault you in the maid jokes. The girls and I watch her frequently. I mean, whatever works. Whatever works. Alright, getting through this fucking tree. Back to the drinks. Sorry for the cough, I have, uh, getting over a cold. 
actually booted me out of work for the last couple days because of it. <clears throat> Goddamn serious. I I got past this in the first hour or two that I was just testing the game, but not easily as you can see. Don't remember having this much difficulty with it. Back into this short little Fuck! Alright. Oh, I am deteriorating so fast. You watch Parasite. You're gonna make me Google this. No, but you're gonna make me Google it and it's gonna be porn. I know it. Gotta be. Japanese science fiction horror. Okay, okay. No, I have not. Um, I do not, um... It's not. <laughs> I should have given you the benefit of the doubt, my bad. <laughs> um, no, I uh, have uh, I have not watched anything in the horror genre, but it's really gore. I mean, gore is fine. Um, it's just I'm not huge on the horror genre um, in games or in movies, anime, movies. Interesting. No, I'm, I'm, I have. Uh, Man, what's the closest thing I've watched to a horror movie? Maybe Paranormal Activity, which is a joke. Uh, I don't really touch uh, horror stuff. Death Note? Uh, no, I didn't watch that one because um, I've always heard that was like a kind of normie one that kind of falls off. Um, I don't know how true it is. But like... Everyone was like, or at least back when I, that, that was when I wasn't watching anime. And a lot of people were saying it was edgy and it wasn't really good, so I just never watched it. Fucking serious. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. I'll gladly go back. I, I I haven't completely written it off. I just haven't had a reason to watch it yet. I'm not going to justify trying to watch Death Note when I haven't watched uh, Jujutsu Kaisen yet. For instance. The test. <laughs> Did I pass? Haha, <laughs> nailed it. Thank. Well then, on uh, that note, I uh, suppose I should uh, not watch it. Th that's what I heard. But I also don't know anything about it. I know you write like a... They write a name in a book or something and people die. But all I know. What was, they didn't extra season to milk more money. Was the first season like all right? And then the second season was just them milking it and that's where it went bad? I, I don't know. I thought I heard the first season wasn't that bad, but I don't know anything about it. And I just haven't heard great things about how it at least ends. So I just didn't, I, I haven't bothered to look into it at all. How do I make this jump? Six, ten times, and then such an easy one, and then like I, I just don't do it. Through this sewer. more days um oh man i i can't admit I, I can't admit this you're gonna you're gonna flame me i mean i'm a male vtuber 
So like obviously I have to like JoJo. Us JoJo fans love dick, right? But I mean if it's any saving grace, at least I'm not um I I'm not in your face about being a JoJo fan, but like I'll admit. It's okay, it's expressive. Okay. Wasn't sure if that was part of the normie test or not, because, like, some JoJo fans are annoying. All right. I actually haven't even caught up on the new season. Don't like anime that takes it too serious but fails massively. Yeah. Yeah, that's very fair. I think um, I watch a lot of sh um, I watch a lot of the I don't know I watch a lot of stuff in general I think um, but I watch a lot of shit just because like I know it's not taking itself too seriously so like it's fine um, which one is it um, oh, I'm drawing a blank how not to summon a demon lord <laughs> my friend told me to watch that. Because I like elves. He did fail to mention what that show was, so I went into that show blind. I was not prepared for what I got. That was a new level of just... Goddamn. Like, not... But, like, I was so unprepared for it. And, like, it never took itself seriously that I somehow kind of thought it was hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Yeah! But, like, I didn't know that going in. I was like, okay. Serious show. How not to summon a demon one lord? Let's go. There's elves. I like elves. And, um, I was surprised. To say the least. And I liked it more than I care to admit. Uh, season 2, though? Well, I thought it was garbage. Uh, the joke kind of wore off. And all the jokes were the same, but not as good. But, uh, yeah, that's one of my, um, put in the ashamed pile. And this jump's not hard! I haven't even gotten the fucking castle. Not expected, not make it to the castle an hour in. Up. I gotta say, when I started streaming Jump King, I did not expect to be having this conversation, but I'm not mad. Appreciate the company. A lot better than uh, talking to myself. Back to the sewer. Back in. I'm gonna make this jump. First try. Easy. Yeah, I, uh, so far I like this game, though. It's, um, because it's chill. Like, it's such a vibe when you're just talking to people. Uh, so I, I definitely, um, plan to stream this game more. It's, it, it's so low key, you can just shit post, basically, while you play. Thinking about doing a competition with my friend once he finishes um, setting up his Twitch channel, uh, just for fun. Doing maybe like a getting shit face stream. More of a game to chat. Yeah, it really is, which is just nice. It's, it's relaxing when you're not getting tilted. Um, yes, but um, it, it it can be tough when you're just starting out. I was actually nervous about that. Because if it was just me in here, it'd be a lot of me talking to myself. It's an easy job! It'd be a lot of me talking to myself, which, like... While I'm trying to work on getting better at it, it's difficult because how much enthusiasm and interestingness can you, can you ring out of it when you don't have anyone to talk with? So, um, as I was saying, my buddy, he's thinking about... Uh, making a twitch channel and um, setting it up and we might do um, like a stream 
maybe every follow or something, um, we'll have a choice. Either um, take a shot or do a full reset. Um, we'll, we'll probably start with the shots and then if for some reason people actually tune in uh, for the sake of not dying from alcohol poisoning, we might have to take full resets to pace ourselves. Just add normal and don't need to blend in with the normies. Just add normal and don't need to it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I uh, gonna say, and then maybe with the um, the duo stream, maybe have some type of punishment at the end. I don't know. Act. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm not trying to put on like a. Like a high pitched voice and like a crazy personality. I just thought like I don't have to show my face cam, which is just an extra level of chill. And like I don't know, I like anime, so it would attract some anime people. Um, gonna have some chill chats and uh, maybe make some friends. I just, I just felt like it gave an interesting flair, especially because there's not a lot of male VTubers, at least not like ones that aren't obviously like oh I'm this specific thing that's kind of weird. Nice roasting, by the way. Uh, roasting, um... YouTubers? Markiplier? Yeah. Well, like... I mean, it gets them views, so, like, I can't fault them. It's just not what I'm going for. Like... There's plenty of that, people will find that. I'm trying to just be chill, make some friends, and like, I don't care if you if you do it. It's just not my content. I say my content is if I have a brand, I have three times streaming now, including this one. But like, I don't know, I thought there was not enough male VTubers. I thought there was a niche for it. Uh, I thought it made me interesting because I'm not one of those ones that are trying to be crazy or whatever like I'm, I'm just trying to chill I'm trying to have fun but like in your case Markiplier it's just it reeks of trying too hard like I, I, I just I commissioned a VTuber I went with an elf model because I was like yeah I, I, I like elves like, and I like archers. It, it, typically when I play like an RPG or JRPG, whatever, I like to be an elf archer. That's what I go with. So I was like, you know what? That's my VTuber. I don't have any lore or anything crazy. This man's, uh, uh, making an assumption, this man's is not wrong, though. Like, that that's that cultured stuff. Like, you can't go wrong with that. Um, I am a bit of a simp, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna complain about some, uh, some of that Neko action. Some, but, like, Elf's pretty, pretty best here. Yes, I, I do know what you mean. <laughs> oh, what is the stream devolved into? I'm three streams in and I'm already showcasing my degeneracy. Point of contention I do have, I don't know if you played Final Fantasy XIV at all. They really, I feel like they neutered the elf foot. The elf equivalent, I forget what it's called. Um, it's not very good looking. It's like tall and lanky, but in like a bad way. I don't know. I don't plan to stream that. That's more of a game I play on my personal time. But uh... 
play Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, uh, I tried to play Final Fantasy 15. It's... I don't know. I didn't like it. Uh, I'm also weird in that I played um, Final Fantasy 13. And... God damn it. Final Fantasy 13. I actually loved. The third one was shit. The second one was really good too. That's the one everyone who likes Final Fantasy hates. And, like, I really like that one. So, divisive opinion right there, but my hot take. Final Fantasy 15, I couldn't get into because everyone was just dressed in black. Like, I really liked Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 10 because it's so colorful and, like, it has personality. And I'm sure Final Fantasy 15 2 does, or Final Fantasy 15 also does, but, like, I didn't get that far. I tried to do the combat and I just remember it was hold B. And it literally did my moves for me, just holding it. I didn't even get to press it. And then when everyone was just dressed in black, it, I just, I didn't care. I mean, I, if I tried it longer, I might have liked it, but... I don't know. I gave up on it a couple hours in. I definitely didn't give it a fair shot. Head past that one. Here. Alright. Jumped easy. <laughs> I've never had issues on that part. What is going on tonight? It's not for you, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it could be. I don't... I didn't really give it a fair shot, but like... I don't know. Um, again, I might just be the weird one because a lot of people really didn't like 13 and I, uh, it's probably my favorite one in the series. Um, look it up. Final Fantasy 7? No, I never played Final Fantasy 7. 9? I liked Final Fantasy 9 a lot, but it's one of those ones where I took a break halfway through and I could not figure out where I was after I took a break. So I really messed up on that. Um, so I never beat that one either. I know in Final Fantasy uh, 14 you can get the um, the car. Uh, there was an event where you could get it. I don't know if you can anymore. I like Final Fantasy 14 not as a Final Fantasy game but like it's like a social game. You made a lot of really fun people. I want to make it out of these tunnels so bad. Alright. Easy job. I was really hoping to be a lot farther by this point. It's weird that I'm multitasking like crazy. I mean, define crazy. I consider myself to be particularly good at multitasking, so I don't think it's that weird. But, like, it also depends on, like... Are, are you doing something ridiculous? Like, juggling, riding unicycle, vacuuming, talking to me, looking up Eki, Echi, whatever. Or are you, like, reading something, talking, and playing a game? Reading my Japanese manga, reading Chinese characters translation, and talking to an elf. I mean, yeah, that's... When you get to bilingual, that's when it gets a little uh, crazier, I think. Are you naturally English? Is that, like, your uh, native language? I've heard when some people are like, when they move to a different country, they might, I guess they might, um, like, because they're immersed in it and they're always thinking in that language, sometimes, like, 
their natural train of thought just isn't like would translate to that new language instead of their native language. It has to shift back. I don't know how true it is. I am muggle born. Alright, I'm really gonna just out myself on everything then. Um, yeah, I am, um, I am an absolute Harry Potter nerd. Um, don't know if you are or if you're just saying because everybody's like, oh, England, Harry Potter, isn't it? Making jokes about it. But, um, yeah, you Harry Potter sim. But I grew up with it, so like... I, 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 I'm, I, I like it more than I'd care to admit, but. It's everyone's pastime. Um, yeah, it is, but it's not anymore. Like, you're seeing... Younger people don't... God, I'm a boomer. Fuck! How am I gonna start a sentence like that? Oh, shit. But yeah, like, a lot of... People aren't reading it anymore. Which is kinda sad. Whether you like it or not, I think. I also wonder if, like, Lord of the Rings, if that's gonna be, um... That's going to be another thing that just kind of goes by the wayside. I'm definitely okay if The Hobbit goes by the wayside. Uh, like, the book itself... Uh, I don't know if I've read it, actually. It might be a good story. I, If I did it, it was a long time ago. But the I saw one movie, and that was enough for me. Reading like losing magic, to be honest. But moving too fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, people's attention spans, really. Like, as, as much as we were talking about TikTok and it being a good tool for new streamer stuff, like, I, I think with, like, everyone having phones and, and smartphones now and, like, YouTube shorts and TikToks, like, everyone's getting, not ADHD, but kind of. Like, I don't have the attention span to do it. And, like, what's the point in reading a book when... Uh, the aspect of Muggleborn is really racist. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the point in the... Uh, well... Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of. I guess the, the Mudblood is... Like, technically, they're racist. Fuck. They're racist term. But, like, yeah. You're not wrong. I haven't been to England. I'm actually going in a couple of weeks. I'm quite excited for that. Um, I'm, I'm just going to London. Uh, when I planned the trip, we were going to do... Um, we were going to... I have my blush on. How long have I had my blush on? Fuck. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I, the original goal was... Um, Iceland, Ireland, and London. And then... Um, are you pure English blood? No, I'm, uh, I'm American. I'm American. But, um... Oh, I see what you're saying. I, I, I meant in the... <laughs> I meant in the Harry Potter world. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't... walk up to a Londoner, Englander. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just walk up and uh, be like, "Yo, you muckle." Yeah, th that'd be a little, little off color. <laughs> Shit, what was I talking about? Um. Oh yeah, I want to travel to Iceland, uh, London, and um, D um, Dublin, but uh, because of COVID um, and restrictions, um, we actually canceled the Dublin portion. And uh, now you can go there, but everything's booked, and I can't be uh, bothered to go rebook everything. Lose a couple hundred bucks. So, Dublin will be another time, but I am going to do Iceland and um, 
London this summer. I'm quite excited for that. Knowing four languages, you have to travel a significant amount, right? Or have had to in the past, I would imagine. Why learn the skills if you're not going to utilize them? Oh, uh, you do with your career, I suppose, but... For fun, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That, that's what I'm doing, just for fun. I traveled to Japan once, and I actually just really liked it. And then found out I find other cultures just fascinating. Um, so I, I want to... There's a lot of places I want to hit. Like, I want to hit Egypt really bad. But um, they're not quite safe right now, so I'm going to wait, but that is on my bucket list. Iceland I find interesting just because of the geography. Confuse the fuck out of people as you speak really fast in different languages. Yeah. I mean, I, I can see why. Especially uh, not to be racist. Um, but uh, especially you know, if you were a white person or at least visibly white. Uh, I could see why they might be confused if you broke out Mandarin or... Um, Japanese or Vietnamese. What? What is this? Is this a secret path? Or is this just back down? Is this like a trap? What did I just find? Well, I gotta find out. What is the point of this? I didn't know I was playing Dark Souls with invisible walls. Do, do I just eat? Do I eat across and... Fuck. Shortcut. Shortcut for me to the bottom. The speedrunners. Oh. I don't even know what you would do with uh, there. Huh. Well, I was surprised. I've learned something new. Oh, I see. So, like... Oh, it gets rid of my thing. Uh, cursor. I, I see, like, the edge now. Like, the pixels are missing there. So you can see that there's clearly a space there. But, like... I'm not sure where you would go from... You jump from here and get in it? I'm just curious now. But like, huh? That's so cool. I don't even know if this is possible. But. I don't know if you're supposed to enter from the different angle or if this is to go up. Dude, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't mentally prepared for this. Talk about a derailment. I, I think I'm just gonna piss off from here. Interesting. Fuck. Definitely missed uh, some fucks. Alright, back to the trees. The only hard part about the trees is that one jump right there. The rest of the tree isn't bad. Red flowers or whatever this is called. That jump right there is the only hard one, and it's not even that bad. This jump's not that bad either, but that doesn't stop me from passing it up consistently. You like Harry Potter? More than I like to admit. Much more than I like to admit. admit. Like I said, I liked reading, uh, or I like reading, 
and that's kind of what got me into reading in the first place. I hated reading before Harry Potter, and um, I hated on it when it first came out because um, everyone was reading it. So I was like, "Ah, oh, you guys are all normies, basically," and I refused to read it. And then uh, I watched the movie, and I actually really liked the movie, so then I went back and read it. Here is an interesting theory why the Death Eaters work for Voldemort, which is a boy. Alright, hit me with it. Hit me with that juicy juice. Need some distraction from my pain. The crown blue. I assume it's just because he bullies the sh crap out of everyone. Oh. Always interested to hear the theories. Some people read way too much into the books and the theories. I know, um... I know, like, when the 6th, 7th, 6th book came out, there was, um, like, the when they were trying to recruit um, Professor Slughorn and he was pretending that he was dead, um, the piano and the grandfather clock were broken, tilted on their side or something, and people were all like, so Dumbledore dies there. Spoiler, if you haven't read Harry Potter, whatever. Um... They were saying since Dumbledore died in that one, Hagrid would die in the seventh book because he was the piano and Dumbledore was the grandfather of the clock. I thought that was interesting until it was proven completely wrong when the books actually came out. Man, you got me all antsy now. Waiting for this uh, juicy uh, lore theory you got going for me. To be honest, I don't. <laughs> Oh well. I mean, that's what I would assume. Um, because he, 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 he's just stronger and started the movement, I suppose. Fuck! Why is this hard? It's not supposed to be hard. Well, the game is not, that that jump in particular should not be difficult. So then the question for you, if you like Harry Potter, who's your favorite character? I'm, um, personally, I actually really like Luna. I think they, uh, casted her perfectly. I don't know, she's quirky and it's interesting. I'm getting real tired of these shitty sewers. Professor Rubius Haggard, he is huge. Yeah, so. <laughs> Terrifying thought. Haggard's a half giant. His dad was a human. His, his madre was a giant. Like, did, 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 did Hagrid's dad, like, Bear grills that, and, like, like, did, was he just like, what would happen? Could I? Like, these are the questions we need to know. I 
I mean, if you're into that, yeah, I suppose. I'm not into the Dami sub stuff, but like, that's gotta be what's going on there. Imagine, oh god. Y you know, there's no way in hell, uh, R34, there's no way in hell that doesn't exist somewhere. And I can tell you, I don't want to know if it does. Giant baby from the wolf. I think you just die. I think you just die. How long have I had that stupid fuck? Oh. I accidentally hit the terrified face and that's just been going for God knows how long. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, how long is that been up? I <laughs> only just noticed that. We did it! New Heights! Yeah, I have uh, two faces I commissioned um, when I had the model commission. So I got, uh, besides this normal face, I got uh, my super excited face, which is essentially just a blush, but it opens my mouth wider. And for some reason I have fangs, I'm not quite sure why. Um, and then apart from the blush, I have this one for when I royally screw up, fall down, um, something just goes wrong. But I, I think the person I commissioned actually did a really good job. I'm really happy with the model. I didn't even ask for it, but they, um, for some reason they, um, blinked my uh, ears to move when I blink. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I didn't ask for that, but like, goddamn. But like, I'm very happy with it. I gotta ask, did you, uh, do you watch a lot of VTubers? It's lovely, thank you. I really appreciate that. I was, I was really proud about it. I don't really have a lot of people to show it off to. I have, like, two friends that were interested, and that's it. Uh, but, yeah, I gotta ask, you watch a lot of VTubers, or just, um, a new streamer, and, uh, just wanted to chat shit. Well, at least I have a soft walk until I have to make the rainy jump. This is almost as far as I've made, ever made it. I am curious. I saw a screamer once hit that bird and he flies up. I don't know what it does. Not much except for a VTuber. has a full body and VR set that can feel vibrations all over the body. I could see that being really cool. I could see that being used for nefarious purposes. But like a haptic suit, that'd be cool. I have VR. I haven't touched it in a while. None of my friends have VR. And VR is one of those things that's really fun with friends. Um, but it's novelty really wears off when you're playing by yourself. I have the uh, HTC. No, I won the HTC Vive. My friend got an Oculus Rift, so I got that to play with him, and then he uh, never played it. I was a little peeved at that, actually. Fuck. I'm gonna go hit that bird. I don't really know how to, but... How hard can it be? Um... I think I want to go up, so what if I... Your friend is fun at parties. Yeah, no kidding, huh? But he has no concept of money. He, he, he just spends money stupidly and then doesn't care. Like, he bought a Switch, used it like twice, and then gave it to his brother because he just didn't care. And then my other two friends have expressed interest in wanting to, um, two of my best friends have expressed interest in wanting it, but they just don't have enough space for it. 
I can get the bird. I got the bird! Now can I get back? Fuck. Okay, okay. Just this jump. Stop oh, wow. So I don't know what that bird does from here. That's all. I, I've seen you, you get him there, and I don't know what happens after that. been here too much. It's the best way from here. What? Um. Those. Oh, let's switch. Peaked my interest. Yeah, I was curious. I got it. I haven't played it a whole lot. I played it an okay amount, but most of the time if I'm playing games, I want to play on my PC, because, like, I have a custom build PC, I want to play that. Oh, why buy that when there's a Steam Deck? Well, there wasn't a Steam Deck back when the Switch was there. Oh, lad, is that a new Switch, or was that just a typo saying old? OLED, let's say... Oh, OLED model. Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay. I mean, I could see why that might pique your interest. I don't use my Switch enough um, for it to be interesting, and I would rather a Steam Deck, I think. Um, I haven't looked too much into the Steam Deck, but I, I, I did think it was an interesting concept. Oh my god, I made that jump. No, oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, no, no! I think that's like, what, three or four of them? round up because I'm sure I've missed some players. I feel like I really lost a lot of progress here. <laughs> yeah, so in a situation like that, uh, it might be when I pop that uh, stupid face that uh, I had on accidentally. Uh, funny enough, uh, this face, my friend calls it the uh, stickin' ass face. So uh, it is now the stickin' ass emote. Steam disc got potential, but they don't have physical cartridges. Yeah, I just don't think we're there yet. I think we're getting there. I don't think it's there yet, and I think it's got some ways to go. Before it's adopted. Widely adopted. But I could see it being the future. Or being interesting, anyways. Um, a bit of a shake up in the market. I do like um, technology, I find it interesting just to see what comes out. So like, I don't know if you like uh, the YouTuber at Review Tech USA. Uh, he's a little weird. He definitely has some moments where you're like, all right, you can chill. But um, he, he does keep you up to date on a lot of tech stuff, which is nice. When he does tech videos. He did alert me to that whole quantum PV fiasco, which was absolutely hysterical. He's a sellout, <laughs> is he? <laughs> yeah, I know people have a lot of issues with him. I just like it because it's low effort news for me to just get uh, information on any new tech coming out. I, I, it make, means I have to do less research. And it's one of those things where I can pop it on in the background while I'm working and I don't have to pay much attention. It is cheap entertainment, but yeah, you're not wrong.
But I mean, he did alert me to the Ackman, so I can't. Com I mean, um, Quantum TV, which I can't complain because uh, that led me to Ackman, and the Ackman um, video on Quantum TV was absolutely hysterical. He roasted the man alive. Oh, I made this jump a million times, and here I am. Struggling. Goddamn suits. Is it 4 a.m.? Oh boy. Oh boy. I only feel myself going downhill from here. I think uh, I got a little bit more in me, and I think I'm just gonna have to, to uh, call it. Got a long day tomorrow, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll hang out for a little bit longer. Until my gameplay deteriorates to such a point that I'm doing nothing, which isn't far right now. But. I really appreciate you coming in, uh, keeping me company. Uh, no one else hopped in, so. Had a lot of fun just chit chatting. There's a vibe. Try to get into this, uh, soft lock. Yeah, there we go. How we're gaming. I do have to do some research tomorrow on um the let me call out. There was a I need to write this down. Monster Cat. I need to research what Monster Cat it. Uh, Monster Cat is. I think that's my mission for tomorrow. I'm actually gonna write that down right now. Let's see. So I will uh, definitely research that tomorrow, uh, give it a listen to, and um, what else there? Oh, I gotta look into the TikTok thing soon, I think. I think that's one of the next steps on for the channel. Jump all the way up there from here. I think so. But if I jump this way, and then eat. Damn it! Going up a different way than I was before. Take me a second to get to it. There we go. Alright. We're saved there. Oh, I hate this jump. Not hard, but it's so nerve inducing. This one. Uh, 
go left. Oh, I thought I was going to make it there. What uh, YouTubers do you like? Don't you dare say PewDiePie. Actually, I actually heard PewDiePie is like a really nice dude. But I've never watched him and I have no plans to. Boots are fit for a legendary hero. Crafted by a distinguished master. With these, you'll get to that babe in no time. What boots? If I like it, I'll cut you a deal. For only one measly gold, they're yours. I don't have gold. You say... Is that what that bird's carrying? Is that the gold? Because there aren't many other customers around. I don't happen to have any rich friends. No. No, we're all poor. Uh, I guess I gotta get that bird. Bird. Fuck, no, fuck! Just wanted the bird. Oh, oh man. Bad. We're back to here. This is fixable. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I think the end is coming closer. Closer than I'd like to admit. It's just easier to jump on it from the side than from underneath. Unless you do that. Not bad. Streamers make this look so goddamn easy. Like, I was chatting shit in the beginning on how hard it could be, but like... I'm not that far. This is a bit of a problem. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're getting this. I gotta, I, I gotta get to the castle before I call it. I got a little bit more left in me. Let's see what we can do. I want that bird. Hey, give me the gold. Give me the gold, you piece of shit. Oh, I fell and didn't get the gold, you bastard. Fixable. <laughs> oh boy. 
Alright, if I miss this jump, I think it's it. I think there's no coming back. Alright, we're still in it. For better or worse, we're still in it. Got this. Getting better at this part at least. Oh, I said that right before the rain jump. Alright, hyped up. Hyped up. Too easy. Oh, come on, that wasn't even difficult. So bad. Make next major fall, and uh, I think that's where we're going to be calling it. Oh boy. <laughs> that's it. That's where we call it. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, uh, that goddamn rain jump. I'm multitasking, trying to do, um... Uh, reading, uh, Japanese books, translate. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I was distracted. No! There, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, I, I gotta get that bird. Is that a full eat? No! I thought that roof was transparent! Translucent? I gotta get that bird! He's got the money for the boots! Need my Jordans. <laughs> no! I'm gonna ignore the bird for now because I cannot comfortably get back up here if I fall. But uh, mark my words, I'm coming for that fucking bird at some point. Ah! No! 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 Why are you doing this to me? Oh dear. That one hurt my soul. Alright, well, on the bright side, we're not on that goddamn rain jump down there. We can skip that. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Man, did I jinx that one fast? Alright, we're on the rain jump. Easy. First. Tr well. This is all that goddamn bird's fault. I swear on that. I'm gonna assume I swore on that. I'm just gonna pop two in there on the first counter because I'm sure I've missed some earlier. I'm just gonna assume I said fuck. And if not, I'll make up for it later. I'm sure.
Remind me of this really sour guy that passed by once. Apparently he had calculated a strategy to get the babe. Yeah? Probably gave up too. He's fucking... Not giving up, I'm saving it for later. Uh, you know, I think it's almost po poetic to end my stream at the beginning. Like... Realistically, even if you beat the game, you didn't really beat the game. Like, I mean, you beat the game, but like, you, you wasted time. Like, we're back where we started. Poetic. Or justice for all the shit I was chatting. And we almost made a triple digit swear. That's not bad.